remember to have your 120 chart with colors and pencil and paper to follow along. Good morning, first graders. Miss Gansko here for another day of Number Corner. I hope you guys have been enjoying the beautiful weather, but making sure that you don't blow away from the wind. We are starting a new week for our collection later on, and we know that the beginning of a week, we start on Monday. So let's see it together. It is a marvelous Monday. Don't forget that either. And it is Monday, May 11th, 2020. So I want you to think, what color do you think is going to be behind that card? Where do you think Tad's going to hop today? And I'm going to put in our date on our observation chart. Okay, I also put in 54. That is the number we will be, Tad will be starting on today since he ended on 54 yesterday for Sunday. So let's get ready and drum roll first grade. Flip that over. Ooh, it looks like we have some arrows here. So make sure that you have your 120 chart that we've been coloring in together so you can follow along with me. It looks like Had is jumping up two spots up. And if you remember what that means, he is going up by tens, but is he really getting larger of a number or smaller of a number? So I want you to think about that. And then he's also going to the right. One spot to the right. So let's go ahead and put in our arrows. I want you to look at where Tad is on 54 and see if you can figure out what two spots up and then a spot to the right is. I want you to put your finger there. All right, first grade, you should have your finger on where you think he should be. And let's go ahead and look at our chart. We were on 54, 54 is right here. And as I recall, we have an orange card. We have an orange card. So I'm gonna change to the color orange there. 54, he's moving two spots up, one, two, but remember, we're actually counting down by tens. Our number is getting smaller by tens. So we have 54, 44, 34, and then he's hopping one to the right. So we have 35, and that's going up by one. So he's on 35, and we have orange. So I'm going to go ahead and color in my orange. And you should have your crayons or markers or colored pencils and coloring in orange also. Your 35. Okay, so we did end on 35, but we also need to think of our equation. So let's go ahead and write it together. He started on 54. And then he subtracted 10, 20. So we're gonna go take away 20. And then he added one more to get to 35. So plus one equals 35. And I'm gonna copy it up here. So we had 54 take away 20, and then we added a one equals 35. And there's our equation today, ending on 35. Nice job, first grade. We are off to counting how many days we have been learning. Oh my goodness. Let's count by 25. Remember the smaller squares within our 100, there's four of them. So we're counting by 25. Really similar to quarters. 
Let's count 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, up to the halfway, 155, 156, 157, and one more today, ladies and gentlemen. We're at 158 days of learning. Let's go ahead and put that on our days in school chart. We need to change this number to say 158. And our drawing here, what do we need to change? Oh my goodness, you guys are such math geniuses. I'm going to give a shout out. Let's do, ooh, let's do the snake one. So you put your hands together and we go, you're super nice job. We need to erase the seven and make it an eight. Let's go ahead and make it an eight. Just like you are doing on your paper with your pencil. And looking over at our picture, we have 10 tens for 100, five tens for 50, and we have seven ones here, but we are gonna add one more for today for eight ones. Nice job, first grade. Okay, first grade, and now we need to look at our expanded notation equation. So let's go ahead and we have 100 plus 50 plus 7 equals 157, but we know that we added one more ones today, so we need to change our 7 to an 8 for 8 ones equals 158. Well done. Now we're looking at the difference between filling up both of those 100s to have 200. We're looking at the difference between 158 and 200 today. So let's go over here to our chart and let's count starting by 10 to see what is our difference. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42. We have a difference of 42 today. So let's go ahead and Make it 42 equals 158. There we go. 200 minus or take away 42 is the difference of 158. We're looking at 158 for today. Make sure that you submit a crazy equation to your teacher or to me, Miss Gansko. We appreciate all of your hard work, and I know that you will appreciate your hard work also. We are collecting quarters for today. We're adding one more quarter for today's learning. And we have collected 100 cents, which is the same as a dollar. So we're going to put a quarter in for today in our pocket over here. We now have, so if we, we're going to put that we're adding another dollar, but we want to know we have a quarter. So this is that one quarter to make that whole dollar, but we need four of them and we only have one. So we're gonna say $1 and 25 cents. Remember, quarter, quarter, big and bold. You're worth 25, I am told. So that quarter is worth 25 cents. So now remember, a dollar is worth 100 cents and we have 25 more cents. So we need to erase these two zeros. Remember, this is the tens place and this is the ones place. It needs to say 25 there. So I'm putting in now. We have 125 cents. And boys and girls, you should start seeing a pattern or something that's really similar between when I write it in cents and when I write it in dollars. And so here, I need to put my 25 because we have 25 out of 100. Like a fraction. 
Okay, so if I look at my cents, I have 125 cents or a dollar and 25 cents. Or some people say a dollar 25 in short. So we have collected 125 cents or a dollar 25. And some of you first graders have been working on some homework and I wanted to join us all into this experiment. So we had, I gave a task of building 38 cents with coins. And you could only use six coins. Some of us solved it super quickly in first grade. So let's go ahead and I'm going to show you what our coins would be. We would need a quarter for 25 cents. And then here we have some nickels. They are worth five cents a piece. So if we have 25, then adding five, 30, 35, and counting by ones for the pennies, 36, 37, 38. And that would equal using eight coins, but equaling, or sorry, using six coins, but equaling 38 cents. So this is your task for, the, for tomorrow. We have 61 cents behind our hand, but I only have four coins within our hand. What four coins do you have to make 61 cents? And I will see you guys for tomorrow for sure with the answer. You will Show us all of your hard work or your parents. We are so proud of you. And I will see you tomorrow for Tuesday. Bye, first grade.